So I just thought I'd do a quick update. The uh, LF398 uh, sample and hold ICs arrived the other day, so I thought I'd get them installed and uh, you know and see where see see where we are. Uh, I also installed. Let me just pan down to the uh, the circuit diagram so uh, so you can see what I've been working on here. So uh, here's where the uh, LF398s go. Um, there's two: one for the forward and one for the reverse. Uh, uh, the reverse uh, power, uh, or the reflected power rather. And then you, uh, there's also this uh, precision uh, low dropout um, IC that you have to install as well. And that provides a 2.5 volt uh, reference signal for the, uh, for the PIC IC in there. I also uh, created a uh, connection from the, uh, the AD8307 board that I had before over to uh, I've just got one of these installed here this is for the forward power um, over to the board here so there's the LF398 uh, sample and hold IC uh, the white is the signal black is ground and then this is 12 plus and minus 12 volts uh, uh, supply there um, so I've hooked it up to the signal generator so as you can see uh, it's running uh, 10 megahertz at uh, 0 dBm so 0 dBm is one milliwatt. So if we pan down to the uh, to the actual, uh, um, I don't know if you can quite see that. Oh yes, it's it's okay. So so what we're showing here is uh, is actually 0 0.096 of a watt. Uh, and the explanation for that is I don't have the directional coupler between the signal generator and the. Uh, let me get that wire out of the way. The signal generator and the um, and the watt meter. And the directional coupler uh, takes the signal down a further minus 30 dB. Uh, I do have a 20 dB attenuator in there. Uh, so the effective result is because I don't have that directional coupler in there, the signal shown is a thousand times higher than it should be. Uh, so obviously once you get the directional coupler in there, uh, you know, you, the, that signal gets reduced by, by a factor of a thousand or 30 dB. Uh, so you can see here, I'm injecting a signal of 0 dBm, which is 1 milliwatt, and the output here is 0.96 of a watt, which is exactly, well not exactly, it's close to a thousand times greater than it should be. Uh, so, that's, uh, so that's that part working. Um, now obviously, um, you know, it, it, it's not 100% accurate, uh, and there's a pile of stuff that, uh, that, that could be responsible for that. Uh, the LDO, uh, for example, is running at 2.54 volts, so that's a, a different reference. So what I might uh, do uh, actually from this point is kind of abandon this PIC-based um, watt meter and move over to uh, an Arduino-based watt meter, um, and then I can actually uh, do the programming myself and do the, uh, do the uh, calibration myself. Uh, so I'll keep the box that it's in. Um, there's nothing wrong with this. I've got the uh, you know the power supply minus 12 and plus 12 volts and 5 volts. So so I'll keep the box, but I will uh, replace the uh, the pick based one with an Arduino based one, and uh, that'll be kind of the next steps from there. Um, so that's uh, that's where we are right now. Obviously, I've got a pile of steps that I want to do. I don't. I haven't written the. Uh, um, I haven't written uh, the Arduino code for this yet. Um, what I'll probably do is get this all set up on a on a proto board and just kind of walk through the the steps as I'm uh, uh, as I'm creating that. So you know, just at a high level, some of the steps that I think is you know on the proto board itself, I'll I'll get that to 2.5 volt regulator installed. Um, I'll create uh, some some lines from the power supply on this board to the proto board so I've got the plus and minus 12 volts on there as well. Uh, I've already got uh, the uh, AD 8307 I will keep that um, and uh, then, I, then I'll hook up a uh, LF398 on the proto board to the Arduino and we'll, we'll kind of see the output on there. So that's what I'm going to do next um, and uh, so I thought I'd just uh, do a quick update on this and uh, uh, then we'll take it from there.